ready. Um, so, wow, hold on. What just happened? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Um, so, we are going to now talk about the analytical essay in general. So, if you watched my video, um, or rather listened to the Ways of Meaning Oppression, uh, the reading by Dr. Martin Luther King, um, he took an issue. Okay, oppression. We're going to say oppression, and we're also going to we're also going to say racism. Um, and he decided to analyze how we could meet that. What are the ways in which we can maybe provide, sorry, a resolution for this, okay? So he gave three different options. So he took this problem and he analyzed it. Now, I'm going to share um, a very quick document um, on the analytical essay. Okay, so here it is. So... You are analyzing, you're providing an analysis, you are breaking something down. Um, this is so that you can provide a full explanation of whatever your topic is to readers and to, and to showcase essentially that the author, you, the writer, know and have a knowledge and an understanding. So it's not just like, hey, I heard that, it's also I understand what I read and now you're providing your interpretation of what you read. <clears throat> okay, so it's usually the analysis of some type of process or some type of idea um, in literature or, you know, in an English class, you're going to find yourself doing a lot of literary analyses, okay? So you are essentially providing an analysis, sorry, I'm just looking at my daughter, uh, of that piece of literature and trying to say, you know, why this setting, why this place, why that color, why this, why that? Um, there's a lot of a lot of questions that have to be answered when you're providing like a uh, critical analysis for something in, in literature. Um, so differentiating though, it's not a critical essay. You're not you're not dissecting language and terms that are used. You're not really nitpicking at the syntax and the the words itself. Um, you are looking more at the the bigger picture here. Okay, so. Here are some of your analytical essays, and we are going to end up doing two of these. Um, if you're if you're in my English 101 class, you're going to be doing not only an analysis, an analytical essay, sorry, but you're going to do a cause and effect and a compare and contrast. Um, so these are your five. You have cause and effect, finding the cause of something to explain its effects. Your second is compare and contrast. You are analyzing, you know, to compare and contrast similarities and differences. You, the third one is classification. You're learning items, nature by process of analyzing. Fourth one is process. You're starting from the beginning and you're working through to the end. And then of course, your last one is to define something. Okay, so the function is to dissect this concept, idea, thing, person, maybe even a place. Um, and these five different analytical essays are used to help enhance the understanding for the readers and the author. Okay, um, now, here is your, your how-to for this particular essay. I'm going to start a new document, and we're going to pick, um, we're going to pick a song. Let's, let's think of one right now. Uh, what's a, let's go to my playlist, shall we? My playlist is fairly eclectic, so let's just take a gander real fast. I hope it doesn't start playing something super embarrassing. Even if it does, I don't care. There we go. Um... Oh, I can do that. That's so cool. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I have ADD. Absolutely. Let's do. Oh, what is that song? Um, oh, my gosh. What is that? No. Sorry, I usually have one already picked out and suddenly I cannot remember that song name that I wanted to use. Oh my God, it's by Avicii. That, sorry, I couldn't. Okay, so we're going to do Wake Me Up by Avicii. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do if you are actually doing this um, assignment, I'm going to stop sharing real fast and then I'm going to share again momentarily. 
Avicii. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to look up the song links. Okay? I'm doing a particular for analytical essay assignment, okay? Um, this is for any of my schools, Lincoln, Rowan, Union, uh, Drexel, any of them. Okay, so I want you to look up the lyrics for your song. That is your first task, okay, is to think of a song and then find the lyrics, okay? Bear with me. I don't know why this is taking forever for my computer to move along. I know, Peyton. I know. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. So once you have your lyrics, okay, so wake me up by Avicii. Okay. So a few different things right here on the right hand side, it was released in 2013. So this is going to come into play. When you do your introduction, you're going to tell me the song that you're, you're choosing to analyze. Okay. So I would say, um, bear with me because I'm going to mess up. So I have chosen to provide an analysis of the song. What? Wake Me Up by Avicii. I know. The song was released in 2013. I know, honey. You're okay. Oh, you hit your foot. I see what you did. I see what you did. There we go. Okay. So now you have the lyrics, right? So now pick out, you definitely want to pick out the chorus, okay? So here's the chorus. Wake me up when it's all over, when I'm wiser and I'm older. Um, so let's try this. I'm just going to copy it and paste it into a document real fast. Just to make my, my life a little easier. Okay, so I have now pasted four stanzas of lyrics into my document, uh, mostly because the rest is repetitive, so I don't need it anymore. But now I want to look up Avicii. Okay, so, so as we know, Avicii has passed, um, or maybe you don't know. I don't. I don't know. Okay, so he was born in eighty nine. He died in twenty eighteen. Um, his real name is Tim. <laughs> uh, I always find that really interesting with, with artists. Um, so we're going to be kind of jumping around with this, this thought process. Okay. So Avicii was friends with, um, oh my God, I can't Chester. Oh my God. What the hell is his last name? It's going to be. It'll come to me. It'll come to me eventually, but we're going to look right here. His final words before suicide. Um, here we go. Why is this like this? Come on, computer. Nope, I don't want that. Okay, so is speculation. To look this up. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget. Anyway, uh, the whole point of my my nose dive away from Avicii is he had a relation uh, to, I believe Chester Benningfield. I can't. Uh, the last name is just gonna throw me off. Um, and the essentially um, thing that happened with him. We can okay. This, this is our job. Point. We're going to go over to share my screen again with my new document. I 
if it lets me, you know, my computer doesn't let me do anything anymore. Okay. So, um, Avicii, you're going to provide in your intro paragraph, you're going to provide some background to the artist and the song. Tim, I don't know, last name. In. Okay. Oh. Let's see, spell uncovered. Oh my god, it's gonna it's really gonna kill me. Anyway, um so we're now going to take the stanzas and provide an analysis for what we think it means, okay? So they tell me I'm too young to understand. I'm caught up in a dream. So let's provide an interpretation. Okay, so the beginning lyrics start with, and to show that it's a new line in the stanza, you use a slash. Okay, I know it's super technical. This could possibly be that because he is young at the beginning of his musical career. Understand how Hollywood works. And that right. Beginning. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's caught up with the, I'm going to say shininess. Um, it's new life. <clears throat> he then goes on to sing. Okay, so these are like transitional phrases. Okay, they're, um, you don't want a dropped quote. A dropped quote would be if you just add a quotation mark at the, as the beginning of the, the sentence. Um, okay, so here we go. Well, life will pass me by if I don't open my, up my eyes, and that's fine by me. Okay. He clearly is okay with that. that. His new life is seemingly, we're going to say seemingly better and uh, more exciting. So there's, there's a paragraph and that is now an entire stanza, okay? So his chorus goes on and to say, so wake me up when it's all over, okay? Oops. All right, so now we're gonna kind of Again, speculation, so please don't come at me. Um, so wake me up when it's all over. He is saying that now that his eyes are opening to the reality and uh, darkness of Hollywood life, he wants to pretend that it's a dream he can escape from by waking up. Um, he doesn't want to be aware or included in any of the scandals 
such as Epstein's, I can spell, I promise. Now that he is, he has to speak. Speak up. Um, he thought uh, being a musician was going to be easy with little temptation, with little temptation, but wrong. Okay, so this is the general idea. You want to break down the song lyrics. You want to provide an analysis of them. Don't try to give an analysis of the entire song in one piece. Break it down and at least stanza by stanza. Try not to do an entire song in your essay. It's going to be very, very long. Um, and try to, you can use, I know that there are websites that provide an interpretation or analysis of it, um, but also try to think of, hi, honey, what is going on in the world at that time that that song is released? Um, there are reasons that artists release songs at certain times. Um, you know, for example, I can't remember who the artist is, but they've already worked on their um, their album that will be released after they pass. I can't remember who that was. Was that Ed Sheeran? I don't know. It'll come to me eventually. Um, but this is the general idea, okay? Now, at the end, what I would really love for you to do is to provide the full song at the end, okay? So here's my conclusion. Conclusion, song is great. Okay, there's my conclusion. Now, you're going to go on your last page, okay? So you'll notice that that was not the end of my first page or whatever page I'm on. You're going to go to a brand new page in the same document, and you're going to provide the lyrics. Okay, so we me up. Vici, and then you're just going to paste them. Okay, oops. You're just going to paste them there, and that'll be that. Okay, and that's all that you have to do for your analytical essay. All right. Okay. Fantastic. I hope that this was helpful. Um, I know that this was a, a somewhat longer video, and I do apologize. Um, typically, my computer's running a little better. I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. Um, enjoy, and I will see you again in another video. Bye, guys.